Hi, everyone. Welcome to our first uh, briefed tale. We have two incredible guys with us. You may know them as 312husbands on Instagram. Uh, welcome, guys. Hey, thanks for having us. Hello. It's good to have you two on here. I've been following you guys for quite a while, and we've chatted back and forth over the last couple of months. So when the opportunity came up, we decided to do these online. I figured, hey, you would be two guys to do, to be on here, and you graciously accepted. <laughs> well, we're honored for the invite, so thanks for having us. So we're going to talk a little bit about uh, how you guys first discovered underwear. So you can either answer together, answer separately. It really doesn't matter uh, since you're a couple, so I figure you may have similar answers at times. Um, tell our readers a little bit about you guys, if they don't follow you on Instagram already. Yeah, absolutely. So we are Anthony and Patrick. I am Anthony. We met living in the same apartment building in the Boys Town neighborhood of Chicago. The apartment complex had a pool and a hot tub, and the gays loved to frequent the hot tub most evenings when the weather was nice. So I first saw Patrick um, down at the hot tub. And we started to chit chat a little bit, but everything was really casual. Found out pretty soon that he was living with um, what was then an ex-boyfriend. They had moved in together as the relationship was ending. So I definitely held off for quite a bit. But as time went on, I came to learn that he was single and I jumped at the opportunity to snatch him up. And here we are almost, well, we're actually less than a week away from our third wedding anniversary. And nice. coming up in six years together. So yeah, thank you. That's awesome. Yeah, thanks. It's been a fun ride. <laughs> well, your Instagram certainly is fun. I will say you two have a lot of fun together, and that's good to see. So what got you guys into underwear, Speedos, gear in general? What was the catalyst for you liking it? You know, when we've had this conversation, the two of us together, I think, and I think all the way back to... You know, the early, so I was born in 86 and I'm thinking back to like the early nineties growing up, looking through that infamous thick 300 page JC Penny catalog mm -hmm. in my house on a monthly basis. And that was always my go-to. I would always look up the guys wearing their white Hanes or jockey underwear. And that really was as far back as I can remember. That's what triggered my passion for underwear. Like obviously there were sexy guys wearing them, but I was fascinated by, you know, getting to that catalog right away and, and seeing what that was all about. And obviously had a lot of erotic thoughts going through those pages. So, uh, and I, I feel like, you know, that was, that was our porn back in the day, more or less. <laughs> true. Very true. Yeah, and I remember being in college, and this is still when boxers were pretty much the only acceptable form of underwear for young guys to wear, and I hated them. Like, I hated the way that they rode up, and they always felt uncomfortable to me. So I remember going through a period where I just freeballed it all the time because I hated wearing boxers so much. And then right after college, and I was kind of on my own, is when I first discovered Calvin Klein, and I remember like being in a Macy's or something and picking up a box of Calvin Klein. And obviously you're drawn in by the sexy dude who's on the box, but I picked it up and was like $32. I'm not paying $32 for a pair of underwear, but I literally went home and was like, okay, maybe if I save a little bit of money, I can go buy a few pairs. And that's kind of what first drew me into feeling sexy in underwear because it wasn't until the whole boxer phase was done that I could finally put on a pair of underwear and feel sexy. Nice. Well, that led into my next question was, what was the first really good pair of underwear you bought? Since yours was Calvin Klein. Yeah. Yeah, I've got to say mine was To Exist. I think that was the first, I'll say, nice brand of underwear back then at the time. It was affordable. It was somewhat sexy and um, they were easy to find. You know, you could find them in most department stores and get them online. So I think mine was To Exist probably. Did you get briefs or trunks or which yeah, I, And I was just thinking about this too. Just like Anthony, the only thing we wore in the 90s and, and through high school was boxers. I feel like it was all that was acceptable at the time. But as 
time had gone on, it seemed like my underwear fit had gotten smaller and smaller and <laughs> I started wearing less fabric and less yeah. fabric. So I went from boxers right into boxer briefs from to exist. Um, and I remember my first pair of to exist briefs were like a dark maroon red. I just thought it was a really, you know, the picture of the model. All oh yeah. With you. So, I mean, that was a great selling point for me. And I, I don't know if it's gross or not, but I had that pair at least a couple of years. Um, and it was my go-to sexy pair. I loved them. Nice. Yeah. Briefs have always been my favorite as well. So, and since you bought really good underwear back in the day, did it translate into what you love now or has your taste changed over the years from that initial pair you bought? Um, yeah, I think that our tastes evolve over time. I think everyone's tastes evolve over time. I mean, and we also go through phases, I feel like. Like sometimes I'll look at my underwear drawer and be like, I need something more fun and vibrant. And sometimes we're like, oh, I want something more unique. So I think that we we do a pretty good job at switching it up a lot. I'm, you know, probably in terms of style, I'm more of a classic guy than Patrick is. Patrick okay. likes to experiment more, likes to go with trends more. But when it comes to underwear, it's easy to have fun and to kind of switch things up. And I mean, we both of us love jock straps. If you've seen our Instagram, you know that we yep. love jock straps and there's nothing sexier than a than a good jock strap. So um, it's just kind of fun experimenting and, you know, kind of whatever fits your mood at the time. I think cool. the fun too is like the underwear you choose for the day is kind of like a, a deep, dark secret between you and God. <laughs> <laughs> True. Depending on whatever strikes the mood, like I could wear a thong for the day and, and nobody knows but me. And it gives you this, you know, secret boost of confidence that you otherwise may not have. And, you know, nobody exactly. knows it's there, but you do. And, and sometimes you don't need people to know it's there, but it's just internal and it makes you feel good and it makes you feel sexy, even though nobody can see it. Yeah, I agree 100%. We actually, uh, I actually talked to Cox Sox one time and they told me they had a guy who anytime he had a big presentation or a sales meeting, he wore his Cox Sox briefs and always outperformed everyone. So yeah. <laughs> does give you that little boost of confidence and a little something extra that other people really don't have a chance to see. Right. Yeah. And knowing that I do that myself, I, you know, makes me look at other people like, wow, they could be like this butch straight macho guy and they could be wearing a little pink thong. You have no idea. <laughs> oh yeah. Especially under suits. Guys love pink, pink thongs under suits. Oh yeah. <laughs> Just saying that that's what I've heard in my research. So, mm -hmm. um, so you both love underwear. Do you share your love of underwear with your friends? Since you have an Instagram, do they know about you guys loving underwear? Cause we have a question. Our question, this question is usually is, does your partner support your love of underwear? And obviously since I've seen your Instagram, you both do. Do you have friends that are open to it or have you gotten friends to try better underwear? I mean, we've met a lot of people through our Instagram and I think that's probably the biggest example of sharing our love of underwear with friends. Um, you know, we have, we've had friends come to visit us in Chicago on a St. Patrick's day weekend. And we're like, all right, bring your green jock strap. We're going to take pictures in our green jock straps together. I mean, it, it mostly involves wearing some type of jock strap where we're out and about and we try and find a clever way to take a fun picture as a group together. Um, we do have most of our family and closer friends blocked from our Instagram because <laughs> I don't think that anyone's mother needs to see their their sons running around town in, in barely anything. True. Um, but it's kind of, it's really been fun to just connect with different guys over Instagram and share our love of underwear, share our love of taking naughty photos and um, just all things gay. Well, it's really interesting that you say you've met a lot of people because a lot of the guys that I've met over the years of doing the blog and everything, you meet some really cool guys in underwear that you probably would never would have met if it wasn't for Instagram or social media. So I think yeah. that's really cool. Absolutely. So yeah. I'm in the money sorry to cut you there's a lot of Go ahead. support in that community and 
you know, we've been able to share kind of our inhibitions with other friends and they have the same inhibitions and it makes you feel more comfortable, you know, just in your body and your underwear and makes you think less about how you actually look. And sometimes it is how you look in the underwear. And sometimes when you're with those people that love it just as much as you, it's not about that. You know, it's, it's just about sharing that interest. Exactly. Even have made really good straight guy friends from underwear, which is odd. (laughs) Um, So believe it or not, gay guys and straight guys usually have the same sort of, as I call it, origin story. They either discover it when they're early teens or in college. So our stories are very similar. It's kind of freaky, Um, but it's true. Right. But but you never thought, I never thought I would meet and be friends with straight guys who loved underwear. It's odd, but it's true. (laughs) That's the dream. (laughs) So, but the next question was one we just talked about was confidence, which you brought up on your own. So that's really cool that you have that confidence as well. Because I've said all along, good underwear gives you good confidence. So it really does. Yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't take much, and as long as it's something you feel good in, it it really can change your your attitude. Exactly. So, what are some you guys? Of course, love jock straps. But what are your some of your favorite brands, favorite styles right now that you must have? Um, let's see if I'm going to do a plug here, it's going to be for C and two. <laughs> they have okay. my utmost support in that. I think that the sizes are great. Um, the fits are great. The styles are great. They've got an assortment of colors. I just think that that's, that's the brand to beat these days. Um, Anthony might disagree. I'm not sure, but I think Andrew Christian does a great job. Um, JJ Malibu has really, stepped up and surprised me and they've got great prices. Um, we do a lot of to exist. What else do we do? Yeah. Sometimes I feel like I'm not even paying attention to the brand when I buy something. I'm just looking for what kind of catches my eye. Um, I do like Todd Sandfield. Um, yep. I'm trying to think of, I'm trying to think of like the last, the last couple of pairs that we bought. We do a lot of CN2. We do a lot of to exist. Um, well, look at what you're wearing right now. I'm not wearing underwear right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the irony. It's not lost in us. Oh, I'm wearing Addicted. I, that's one oh, of our, yeah. that's one addicted. Of our number one. Okay. I love Addicted. Um, I don't know. Calvin Klein, you know, always a classic if you're amongst family. We try to keep it a little classier. Um, what else? I mean, yeah, like I said, it's it's really not so much. I'm not I'm not a brand whore. I just want to see what kind of catches my eye, what looks good, what looks sexy, what I think would look good on me, and that's what I go for. Cool. Yeah, yeah. for me, it's about the size, and I have a smaller frame, and it's you know, it's just sizing is everything. So if I can find an extra small on anything, I'll take it. <laughs> that's kind of a chore lately is finding extra smalls. Um, sure. Certain brands have it. It's like I'm on the other end of the spectrum because I'm an extra large. And it's like, uh, guys on both ends of the spectrum have it different. So, and right. have it hard to find things. So, definitely true. And any, what's your all time favorite pair of underwear if you ever owner? Do you have one? Or favorite single pair? Yeah. If you have a favorite pair, even if you had it years ago, pair you loved, or it could be, Two, two or three pairs you've loved over the years are currently on? I can say, and it's terrible because I don't remember the brand. I want to say it starts with an M. I don't think it's one of the more popular ones. But one time, it is the first time Patrick and I ever did this, and we've done it a couple times since. But we walked into a store, like a gay um, underwear store, and we said, okay, let's separate and each buy each other a pair of underwear. And Patrick nice. bought this, this pair that the front was like a green cotton, but the back was all completely mesh. And every time I put them on, I just always think about how that was what he picked out for me. So obviously I feel confident and sexy in those because that's what he thought I would look best in. So that's the pair that kind of sticks out to me. Cool. Yeah, I would say mine is a pair of two exist blue, like a silvery blue. It's almost like a metallic blue pair of boxer briefs. I can't even believe that I'm, 
choosing boxer briefs. It's not the fit that I <laughs> prefer the most, but these pair have outlasted any other pair. Um, and I'm embarrassed to say I've had them for probably six years. They've upheld <laughs> this entire time. Nice. They've lost their structure. They still give you that nice lift in the back. So it's definitely those. Um, you know, I've got a lot of jocks that I love. Um, I'm really into, you may or may not know these, C and 2 boxer briefs. They've got the nice thick waistband. But then around the leg holes, they have that same waistband material. And then oh, everything, yeah. everything in between is like a meshy cotton. It's yep. like the most comfortable pair I've ever worn. It gives me the best lift. So those are definitely a, a favorite as well. Nice. No, underwear that lasts is a good thing. I've had pairs for eight, ten years, depending on the brand. So right. it's always good when you get your extra money's worth out of them. Mm-hmm. Right. And trends change. So it's nice to, exactly. you know, my two favorites have really upheld with the styles. Awesome. Awesome. Well, that's all the questions I have for you guys. Um, just a quick dive into your love of underwear. Um, I have to say, if you do not have not seen their latest video, you need to go see it. It is an amazing <laughs> video. Um, them and jocks changing them super creative when i saw it i had to send you guys a message going oh my god that video is amazing (laughs) yeah and that's that's actually filled with a bunch of guys that we met through instagram um two of them are local friends of ours in chicago but the other guys that you see in that video are friends that we've met on instagram and then have since met in person and hung out so um Instagram, instagram can do wonders for your social life it can you can meet some really cool guys off of it so Right. And in the light of the pandemic and the quarantine, that was like our way of socializing during all this. It was super, yeah, super creative, super awesome. Love every minute of it. So you guys <laughs> well, need to go watch it. So tell them where they can find you on Instagram. Um, Instagram, we are 312 husbands. The number is 312. And check us out. Yeah. Definitely check them out. They're pretty awesome. If you're not following them already, you need to be following them. But thank you guys again for coming on and sharing your story with us. And we hope to have you back for something else soon. Oh, we can't wait. Well, thank you. Thank you. Talk to you soon.